Hey there, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Guru. Collaborations, creating win-wins, looking to help someone else before asking for help. It's always been a motto of mine. Look to help someone else before asking for help. But there's ways to be able to do it. I'm going to talk about that real soon. Are you part of our Million Dollar Referral Network Facebook group? It's our free Facebook group where we bring our networks together to collaborate, to create great opportunities with one another, to be able to share insights, to be able to uh, help people grow their business through referrals and partnerships. Just search the Million Dollar Referral Network on Facebook. Come hang out over there with me. So look to help others before asking for help. Pretty simple motto. Pretty easy to do. But for a lot of people, they actually get it really wrong. And the part that they get really wrong is that they think that they're asking someone else for uh, what they can do for help, but really they're asking because it benefits them just as much. Here's an example. So somebody who might go, oh, would you like me to come into your... Um, come into your clients and run a training on XYZ. Seems simple enough. Seems pretty easy. Seems like I'm doing something that's helping the other person. But really, it's for your own benefit. So what you've got to be thinking is, are you asking the other person what they would like you to do to be able to help them from your own get something out of it perspective, or simply because you're open to be able to help them in however they suggest. So rather than actually suggesting what you could do to help them, the question just simply needs to be, so what can I do to help you right now? And be happy to do whatever it is that they say. So you can't say, oh, what can I do for you right now? And then they give you an answer and you oh, I actually don't want to do that. Because you shouldn't have asked to start with. And if you're going to suggest what you can do to help them, because in the end, that's what you think is going to benefit you the most, again, it's not following the motto. Remember, the motto was, look to help someone else first before asking for help. So you've got to be able to do that with complete Openness that whatever they say, you're going to be willing to do to be willing to be able to help them. So you can't suggest, well, how about I do this for you? Or how about I do that? Unless they say, well, what do you think you might be able to do for us? And even then, the things that you should be suggesting are more so things like, well, what can I do to promote something that you've got coming up? Or what can I do to be able to help fill your CRM? Or what can I do to help you get more clients? What could I uh, share right now that'll get you more exposure? See, all of those things have got nothing to do with benefiting me. And when you start doing things for the other person that actually doesn't benefit you at all, your relationship and trust builds much faster. And that's key. Because if you want them doing things for you and you want them to be able to really enhance the relationship of you doing things together, then obviously the faster that relationship and trust can build, the more stuff you're going to do with one another. So for a lot of us, you've got to change the language and you've got to just change the thinking. What can I do for you, which actually doesn't benefit me whatsoever? So you suggested, I could be on your podcast, I could run a webinar, I could speak at your conference, I could, well, that's not actually helping them. Sure, they might really appreciate the content and the knowledge and being able to share that stuff, but really that benefits you. So it's like you're trying to help them, but there's a hidden agenda of helping you. That's what you've got to get rid of. You've got to simply go, what can I do to help you, willing to do anything that they suggest? And if they're not sure and they say, well, what could you do to help? Then suggest things that don't benefit you. Suggest things about promoting them, giving them exposure, opening doors for them, introducing them to people. That's the better way to do it. Okay, guys, hopefully that's been helpful. Go live by the motto, look to help someone else before asking for help. I'll talk to you real soon. Remember, come jump over into our Million Dollar Referral uh, Network Facebook group. Just search. 
Million Dollar Referral Network on Facebook. Come hang out there, learn how to create your business through referrals, through your networks, through partnerships. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.